Welcome to section three of lab techniques. In this section, we'll be discussing flow cytometry. Let's get started. Flow cytometry is a lab technique that can be used as a method of analyzing cells. For example, it can analyze cell markers, cell size, and granularity. The cells are analyzed as they move through the flow cytometer in combination with a laser and a photodetector. One powerful way to utilize flow cytometry is by combining it with fluorescent labeled antibodies. Let's pull up a figure so you can see what I'm talking about. This is a figure of flow cytometry which can be found in section 3 of lab techniques. Notice that on the right side the process is illustrated and on the left the results are plotted out on a scatter plot. Let's talk about the process on the right first. Notice that a fluorescent label is combined with antibodies. Bodies. You can see the black fluorescent label right here, which is combined with anti-CD34 antibodies. Also notice that the red label right here is combined with anti-CD8 antibodies. These fluorescent antibody complexes are added to a solution of cells and bind to the appropriate antigens. You can see that we've shown the antibodies bound to this cell right here. From here, the solution is placed in the flow cytometer, which is represented right here. And then the machine uses a laser, which activates the fluorescent label. Notice that some of the light is scattered, and you can see that right here. This scattered light can be analyzed by the detector and then plotted out on a scatter plot. On the x-axis, we can see the number of CD34 positive cells, and on the y-axis, we can see the number of CD8 positive cells. Notice that in this quadrant right here, there are relatively few cells that contain both CD8 and CD34. So this is considered to be the CD8 negative and CD34 negative quadrant. If we move to the right, we can see that this represents the CD34 positive quadrant. If we go up, both CD8 and CD34 are positive, and then if we go to the left from here, you can see that only CD8 is positive. You can imagine that the ability to measure cell markers like this has many applications. However, it's very commonly used in hematology. For example, it can be useful in diagnosing lymphomas, leukemias, and immunodeficiencies. Okay, let's do a question so you can see how this can be used clinically. A seven-year-old girl presents with symptoms concerning for acute lymphoblastic leukemia. A sample of blood is obtained and sent to the lab for flow cytometry analysis. In T-cell ALL, leukemic blasts are known to express CD2. A solution of fluorescent labeled anti-CD2 and anti-CD4 antibodies is mixed with the patient's blood and processed through a flow cytometry machine. The results are shown below. What can most likely be concluded based on the findings shown above? Hopefully from the question stem, you notice that this girl's blood is being analyzed by flow cytometry. Hopefully you also noticed that the blast cells express the marker CD2. From the image, we can see that the results show high concentrations of CD4 and CD2 represented by this quadrant right here. This means that this girl has T-cell ALL blast cells that are expressing both the CD2 and the CD4 markers. In other words, the results confirm the diagnosis of T-cell ALL. Also notice from the image that there is a group of cells which only contains CD4 right here. Also notice that there's a group of cells which lacks both CD4 and CD2, which is shown right here. So I've indicated next to each quadrant which markers are positive and which markers are negative. 